Hey Steve, uh, do you want to go ahead and do the introduction to this video? Here is the next video, which is a pose video on the Leo. Back to you, Crow. Wow, Steve, that was actually like that was that was pretty nice of you. If you ever ever make me do that again, I swear to God, you will come home to nothing. You are trash. You are the cancer of Gundam videos. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know why I'm still here. I don't even know. Well, uh, thanks, Steve. Thanks. Thanks for the inspiration. I'll, uh, I'll do my best. All right, guys, welcome to the next pose video. Um, so essentially what these videos are is a chance for you to see what kind of poses uh, these kits can actually pull off. So if you haven't, you know, clicked that button and said, I want to purchase this kit, I want to look up some more information. Um, generally, poses is kind of like one of the best ways to go about it alongside kind of just, you know, basic reviews. Um, but I kind of base a lot of things off of what kind of poses can I get off uh, with a Gundam. You know, if it, if it just can't pose well, then I kind of... I'm gonna wait for a better uh, version of it because uh, I'm not at that point for modding. Uh, but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and check out the first pose. All right, guys, and here is the first pose. Uh, so I just wanted to get something more grounded. Uh, obviously, this is a more uh, ground mobile suit, unless he has all the attachments and he can have the flight mode and then the uh, the atmosphere mode and all that. Um, but I wanted something like him kind of walking towards the enemy and just, you know, firing his weapon. Uh, that was just kind of like the overall idea for this pose. And honestly, this is like my favorite pose. You know, there's a lot, of, there's actually a lot of things you can do with this. Um, the only problem is because of the um, the limitations of the head, which is uh, canonologically canalog accurate to the series, it can't really do anything that's like super dynamic with the head. So it's kind of like if I'm if I'm shooting the rifle on the side, it, the camera's not going to face that way. So almost like he can only turn his body in the direction that he wants to shoot with you know if he wants to use the camera uh, for the sight. Um, so. I, I don't know, like this is just obviously gonna be the best uh, one when it comes to uh, firing the weapon, in my opinion. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the second pose. Okay, and here is the second pose. Uh, so essentially what I went with is kinda him, you know, if, if I was in the mobile suit and I'm like, holy shit, like, this Gundam is extremely powerful. I want to go ahead and like fall back, but lay some cover fire as I'm falling back. Cause you don't want to really turn your back to the enemy. Um, you know, you really want to go ahead and you know slowly back up and you know get some cover fire going, uh, so that way the enemy uh, can possibly just you know hide or you know it's just it's just not going to be as um, proactive and retaliating. Uh, they're probably just going to want to give away from uh, cover fire. Now I know in the Gundam universe it's kind of like eh. The Leo doesn't have a chance like in any kind of way shape or form because of the fact that it's a Leo um, So even though that's understood I just uh, thought like hey, you know Maybe he's you know using his thrusters to go ahead and fly back uh, and just lay some cover fire or something of the sort um, But yeah, that's pretty much about it for the second for uh, the second pose. Let's go ahead and get into the third Okay, and here is the third and final pose. Uh, so essentially what I'm going with is, you know, the, the, the Leo just kind of dashing and getting ready to slice uh, slice the enemy mobile suit, whether it is uh, an actual just mobile suit, uh, like a grunt suit, or if it's a, a Gundam. So, um, didn't really think too much into this. I was like, I could do it with already slashing, but I kind of like this, like he's, he's, he's charging up that slash. Like he hasn't done it yet. Uh, but as soon as he gets you know close enough, he's just gonna go ahead and uh, slash the enemy mobile suit and just kind of be done uh, with that. 
So I was just, you know, I, I was really playing around with this and there's not a whole bunch of different poses to put this kid in, um, but I think the ones that you can are just going to be good enough. You, you know, I, I don't really see this needing to be extremely dynamic, um, but if you really want to, I mean, you can really pull some stuff off, uh, maybe a little bit of modding if you want to go ahead um, and, and cut the head to where the head can rotate back and forth. You can do that. Um, it's not really, I'm pretty sure it's not really going to be too hard, uh, but overall, I mean, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, um, let's see if we, uh, do we, do we have any time for, uh, maybe a bonus pose? You know what, just, just go for it. Just do it. Alright guys, on to the bonus pose. Alright guys, here is the bonus pose. Uh, so obviously you can't turn the head, but it, this is essentially just kind of thrust, uh, not thrusting, but uh, dashing across the battlefield, uh, much like we did in the previous pose, uh, but I kind of want to make it a little more dynamic, uh, because I think both poses with the beam saber, to me, look pretty good. Um, so if I was using a stand to pose this kit, like permanently, permanently on my shelf, um, I honestly probably would have went with this or maybe something in the aerial pose utilizing the uh, the machine gun um, But you know what like I I'm not gonna sacrifice a, a stand for this kid as as cool as it is and as much as I do like it um, it's, it's just gonna be in, a, in a, the standing pose, but it's kind of like you know like bent knees uh, and utilizing the uh, the rifle to you know pretty much shoot. Um, but that's it for me guys. Definitely thanks for watching. Uh, if you do enjoy these videos, uh, let me know in the comments below and maybe you got some recommendations of anything else uh, pose wise. And uh, you know, just be sure that you like, comment, uh, maybe even share the video if you really enjoy it. Uh, but definitely like, comment, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you in the next pose video. Bye bye.